41st tribe. It was initiated by a woman called Farah Manzoor. I have never met her, I don't know anything about her. But Zahid had met her and he said to me, forget it, it's just a crazy idea. Don't, don't bother yourself. I said, fine. The next thing was that the crazy idea had reached State House. So it wasn't really that crazy, eh? So we decided then to at least write, <coughs> write a letter because there was a lot of buzz around it, a lot of jingoism, but no really substantive uh, analysis of what was being asked for. So we wrote a letter to, uh, with the staff published and Zaid wrote the letter and he said, first of all, that no individual has a right to commit an entire community. She was doing this as the entire Asian community wanted to be recognized as the 44th tribe. And this recognition, what was it for and in what form? It came very soon after the Makonde case. And there is absolutely no comparison between the situation of the Makondes and the situation of the Asian community in this country. And also we took up the issue of such a partisan issue should not have been staged in State House. And we thought, fine, that's it's not end of matter, at least uh, nothing very serious. However, on 21st July, there was a Gazette notice, number 7245, and it said that in response to petitions with an S by Asian community for formal recognition as a tribe in Kenya. That was now telling the Kenyan public that we had to be recognized as a, as, a, as a 44th tribe. The next thing was a TV panel show. I think it was KTN who ran it. And it had on it uh, Sonia Virdi, who, who at that time was a member of parliament, uh, the head of the Hindu Council in, in, in Kenya, and a representative of the Asian African Heritage Trust. And all of them were gung-ho about this 44th tribe. It was a great achievement. Again, no substantive analysis or no facts, nothing. Just jingoism. And of course, a lot of phrase about our president, Uhuru Kenyatta. So then we decided myself and Jill Guy, as members of the Kenya Asian Forum, to write a, a more substantive letter giving some of the legal issues involved as well as a historical background. So, some of the things, we, uh, uh, issues that we raised. We clarified that this Asian community does not include the Rockets, I don't know how many of you are familiar with this term, but the rockets are people who have re recently arrived from India and they are not Kenyans, so clearly they were not included. Neither did it include the Chinese or the Arabs or the Japanese or the Vietnamese, who are also Asians. 